What's going on everyone? Kid here and welcome to What's a Good Anime to Watch, episode 3. A video series which I do every two weeks with details on what's a good anime to watch. Now a few of the series that I have for you today are ongoing, so keep that in mind. But other than that, on to the anime. Now, Aralonga Sensei is a new sibling romantic comedy. Now, I know it may sound bad, but it's funny anime. I've watched a lot of comedy anime as of late. It's going to a different setting. It comes together really well. My main character, Lazamune, is a light novel author who's trying to get his shut-in little sister to come out of the room. She hasn't left in an entire year because their parents died in a horrible accident. So he's just trying to find a way for her to come out of the room, deal with her problems, all while trying to write a new hit light novel. Now, Love Tyrant is one of my picks for best anime of the spring. I go ahead and attack on Titan. It has a great cast, cast of characters, along with a kiss note. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kid, what's a kiss note? A kiss note is a tool used by a cupid, aka Gurren, to create couples. Shinji, a regular high school student, and our main character has to help Gurren, who accidentally wrote his name in the kiss note. Now, when I say help her, he has to kiss his crush, Kanye. This goes wrong really fast, but I'll let you guys go and watch the anime to find out what happens for yourself. Now, Girls of Hood is a retelling of the OG Colonel Alchemist. It's closer to the manga story. I like it, but a lot of people say that the OG is better. Let's see if the hypnosis. In order to obtain something, something of equal value must be lost. This is the law of equivalent exchange. Edward and Alphonse Elric are seeking the Colossal Stone, a mythical relic that allows you to overcome the law of equivalent exchange. This is after they've attempted human transmutation, a forbidden act of alchemy. In the process, Ed loses his left leg and right arm, as well as Alphonse loses his entire physical body, but he is brought back into a suit of armor by Ed. They find themselves caught up in a national conspiracy that leads them to the truth of the Philosopher's Stone and as well as the country's murky, murky past. Now, Kobayashi Dragon Maid is a pretty funny anime. But how do you get drunk, run off into the mountains, save a dragon, and like said dragon to stay at your house? Now that's beyond me. You'll have to ask Miss Kawashi about that one. Cause she was pretty hammered. Said dragon in question is Toru. Toru's in love with Miss Kawashi and she's come to live with her and be her maid. Now this anime is based heavily in Norse mythology if you're into that. You'll get a real kick out of the, this anime. It has a lot of great characters from the world tree. My favorite being Fafnir, the gold loving, killing all dragon. So, yeah, it's definitely worth a watch. The plan is convoluted. There is a bit of fan service, but hey, who doesn't love fan service? Now, a comedy got killed and I have a love-hate relationship. Although it has a very simple story, a band of assassins, Night Raid, seek to take down the Empire and help the Revolutionary Army. The Empire is corrupt because of the Minister who's taking advantage of the Emperor who's a child. It has a cast of characters that I grew to like and they actually grew on me as the series goes on. 
the problem with this anime is it's one of those animes, and I'm not gonna spoil the ending, it's just most people didn't like the way they treated the anime and the ending of it. It's great fight scenes, great characters, and it, it has a simple story to follow. It's not too convoluted, but it does end up breaking your heart. Other than that, subscribe for more anime content. I like to upload every week, so come back to check it out. Other than that, have a silent night, everyone.